This is exciting. Who doesn't love drone accessories? And today I have a bunch for the DJI Mini 3 Pro that I think you'll actually use. Some of these, in my opinion, are essential, such as this, the screen protector for the new RC Pro controller to make sure you don't scratch that precious screen. Others are just really nice to have, such as this, a prop guard for the Mini 3 Pro propellers to make sure you don't snag them as you take them in and out of a bag. As you can see though, I have a ton of accessories to get through, so let's just jump right in. Now most of these accessories today have been sent out to me by Skyrate, so a big thanks to Skyrate for sending these accessories out. If you want to know more or purchase any of the accessories mentioned in today's video, then I'll put links to all of them in the description down below. So the first accessory you should pick up if you don't already own these, I use them all the time, is of course AND filters. Now Skyrate have sent me two different versions of their AND filter sets. Let's take a look at them, I'll explain everything about them and then I'll talk about why you should use ND filters if you don't already know. So the first ones we'll take a look at is a set of metal filters. They have a circular polarizer included, an ND8, ND16, 32, 64 and 128. So that will cover you for pretty much every scenario and that 128 ND filter will cover you on even the brightest days. Now I've already stuck a label on these because I've been using them. They don't come with that label included, I've just stuck that on the case. But if I open the case up here, you can see they're presented really nicely. They're held securely, which is important because some uh, ND filter cases you get, they rattle about inside them, which is not much use. And if I take a look at this circular polarizer one here, you can see with this one, you can actually adjust the polarization, which is really nice. Now the best thing about these ND filters is that they attach so much better than they did on the DJI Mini 2. If you used ND filters with the Mini 2, you'll remember they had two little hooks on the back, it kind of slid over the camera. But if we're honest, it was a little bit fiddly. Sometimes you didn't fit them correctly and the gimbal didn't like it and would do that shaking motion. Sometimes you didn't even notice they weren't fed it correctly, but when you looked at the video afterwards, there was vignetting around the edges and it just didn't feel like the most secure way to attach filters. Well, the good thing is with the Mini 3 Pro, DJI has thought of us and the filter now actually twists off on the camera. So to remove it, you simply twist the filter off. Then you can come along with your Skyrate ones and twist the new one on. Now it's still a, a little bit of a faff because it's quite hard to hold the gimbal while twisting the filter off. But once you've twisted your new filter on, it locates much more securely. It can only go on one way, so you don't get that vignetting by accident around the edges. And it's just a more robust way of attaching the filters. You also have a plastic set. Now you get all the same ND strengths as the metal ones. You get a ND8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. But with these ones, you get a fixed polarizer. So why would you use these ND filters? Well, very quickly, it's to get cinematic motion blur. To get motion blur in your images, you need to adhere to what's called the 180 degree rule. And what that is, is your shutter speed should be twice your frame rate. So I'll give you some examples. If your frame rate is 25 FPS, your shutter speed should be one over 50. If your frame rate is 60 FPS, your shutter speed should be one over 120. Now, if you lower your shutter speed down to them levels on a sunny day, you'll just get a white and overexposed image. So you need a dark piece of glass in front of your camera to let in less light, bring the darkness down, uh, so that you can run them lower shutter speeds and get that cinematic motion blur. So that's why you use ND filters. Now it is worth mentioning that there are other brands that do ND filters. Literally just this morning, I have received these from Freewell. I've got an all day six pack. I've got a bright day six pack and I've also sent a UV filter. So I'm looking forward to trying these out and I'll do a video at a later stage comparing these with the Skyrate ones. The next accessory I think you should absolutely buy is these screen protectors for your RC controller. So if you picked up the RC controller, the new controller for the DJI Mini 3 Pro, it has a big, beautiful screen on it. And the thing is, you don't want to get a scratch on that screen. Something I've been doing for the past couple of weeks is I've actually been wrapping the controller in a microfiber as I've been putting it in and out of my camera bag just to make sure that I don't scratch it up. Now you don't have to worry about that with these screen protectors. So I've actually got one fitted at the minute to my controller and you would not know that there was a protector on the screen. It doesn't change the responsiveness of the screen, it doesn't change the feel off at all and you've just got an added layer of protection. Now if you've ever put a screen protector on a phone or in a tablet, these work exactly the same way. You peel a piece of film off the back of the protector, drop it onto the screen and squidge out the air bubbles. Now these have a coating to prevent fingerprints and smudge which is really nice and they're 9H hardness. 
You also get two in a pack. So that's really great. If you scratch one of these up in the future, you can just simply peel it off and put a new one on. Or if you mess up fitting the first one the first time, then you've got a second one to fit correctly. Now an accessory I've been getting tons of questions about in the past couple of videos I've put out. A bunch of you guys have actually noticed it in the videos I had it attached is this, the prop guard for the Mini 3 Pro. And this is actually a really neat little accessory. I have mentioned before, I don't think you really need a prop guard for the Mini 3 Pro because if you put them in a particular way, they won't really rattle about that much. So you shouldn't really be snagging them as you put them in and out of a bag. But if you do want that extra layer of security, this prop guard is actually really, really nice. So this is the prop guard as it comes from Skyrate. To fit it, it's really, really straightforward. You just put the props inward. You put it around the bag like that and then it comes around the top and it just snaps closed like this, very much like the Mini 2 one did. Now, two things I really like about this prop guard. Firstly, it doesn't mess with the gimbal protector. And here's a quick top tip. If you've been having trouble fitting the gimbal protector, you keep trying to get it and it takes you like 10 times to locate it correctly. I've seen you mention it in the comments. Here's a top tip I've discovered. If you tilt the drone straight upwards, point the camera straight upwards and slowly lower the gimbal protector down over the top, you'll find that it locates perfect every time. So there's a top tip. And as you can see, it doesn't file on the prop guard in any way. The other thing I really like about this prop guard is it's got a flat bottom. So when you set the drone down, it sets perfectly flat. It doesn't rock about and it keeps the props, the bottom props off the ground. So that's a really nice little feature of this prop guard. So if you want to go that extra mile to make sure that your propellers are held securely whenever you're storing your drone, then this prop guard by Skyree is a great little buy. Next up is a hard case. And this hard case by Skyree is actually really nice. Now in a lot of scenarios, the shoulder bag you get with a fly more combo is gonna serve you perfectly well. If you're only traveling a short distance to do some quick filming, the shoulder bag is really handy. But there's some cases when you need more protection when transporting your drone. If you know the case is gonna get banged about a bit, if it's gonna be sliding around, then you want more protection. So if you're traveling and your drone's in the boot of your car, or if you're doing any kind of traveling where you got to store your drone in an overhead logger, something like that, then you're gonna want a hard case. Now this hard case from Skyreach is actually really nice. It's made of durable ABS plastic. And if I open it up, you'll see there's cutouts for every specific item you get with your drone. You can put the drone in its specific place, controller, the batteries, the charger. You even got a place for the USB cables and SD cards. And these cutouts are made of soft foam. So you know everything's gonna get held really securely. The other nice thing about this case is that when it's closed and locked, it's actually waterproof. So those are four DJI Mini 3 Pro accessories I think you'll actually use. Are there any accessories you use all the time that I didn't mention? I'd love to know what they are. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, again, a big thanks to Skyreach for sending out the majority of these accessories you've seen in the video today. Again, if you want to pick any of them up, there is links in the description down below. Now, before you go, if you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you love all things drones and want to know how to get better photos with your drone, get more cinematic videos, then I have a ton of other content on my channel. I recommend you check it out as it will help you level up your drone game. Make sure to click that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Now, if you want to stick around and see a few more of them videos now, here's a few I personally recommend checking out. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.